Hello everybody, this is Ken. Uh, today I wanted to do like an unboxing for all these parts um, that I ordered through summitracing.com. Um, this is kind of a bragging video, like I'm bragging about Summit for, uh, I'm dealing with these, this company for quite, quite a while now with this, with this engine. Um, I'm not, I'm not sponsored by Summit at all. I'm not getting paid or nothing. I just, I just want to randomly give thanks through this video, thanking Summit Racing for, uh, sending me these parts within like two days, I think it was, two or three days, uh, for my 454 Chevy Big Block. Uh, you know, several months ago I ordered pistons for this thing, and they got shipped to me within a couple days, and apparently the shipping company, I think it was FedEx, they must have dropped the package or something because it was, the box was damaged. And I noticed some of the one of the couple of the pistons were kind of had some nicks in them, and obviously you can't use stuff like that in an engine, otherwise you can damage the engine. Uh, so I contacted the customer support through Summit Racing and through the Facebook, and like within like a couple minutes, I had somebody respond to me. And they immediately shipped me out new pistons within a couple days. Couldn't believe it. I've never dealt with customer service that that nice. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, I just wanted to uh, show you guys the parts I ordered for this engine. Hopefully, I can get it complete um, soon. Uh, you know, it's a Gen Five, so I guess there's a little bit more uh, electronics or something involved. Uh, I have a lot more things to do with this. I'm hoping I, I got about 90%, I think I bought about a total of 90% of all the parts I need. So I'm gonna do an unboxing and I wanna show you guys. All right, so uh, I want to go ahead and start opening up some, some of these boxes. Uh, this first box was is just a, it's actually a, uh, an engine uh, engine uh, cradle. I'm gonna I'm gonna be putting this thing together here pretty soon. It's basically you know, um, once I'm finished with all the major stuff on the engine, I can like when I want when I want to go ahead and put the carburetor on the engine, or the, actually the flywheel, which is I think it's coming. Uh, I got to take the uh, the whole engine off the engine stand. And I use that. I, I'll use my uh, cherry picker to do that. But this is basically, you know, it basically uh, you set your engine on it. And this is what I'll use to. Uh, I'll use this as a test stand when I go to start the engine. Hopefully, it don't blow up. <laughs> but that's basically all that is. I'll, I'll put that together and I'll show you guys what it looks like. My wife already opened the box up to see what this is. Of course, she's seen uh, car parts, so she was kind of at me. First thing I want to show off is uh, this thing. I bought this. This is a uh, Summit Racing like sign. I just had to have this in my garage. somewhere on the wall somewhere summit it is kind of a cool addition to have in here since I use summit parts all the time hopefully you guys I'm not out of frame what do you guys think all right uh, let's see what else we got all right so I bought some uh, spark plugs the 8.2 uh, millimeter spark plugs I believe Hopefully this is the right size boot. Uh, should be okay. Guess we'll find out. And they weren't that expensive either, so some red ones. And I'm kind of regretting red. I'm thinking maybe I should have got the. I'm thinking maybe I should have got the black ones. But it's all right. This kind of with like spare boots or something or. Spare because there's 
Okay, there's one here without an end, so I'll figure that out. But yeah, got that. Uh, oh, I bought this for the top of the engine. This is uh, what, you know, bolt this to the top of the uh, intake manifold. And this is what I can, you know, use to lift up the engine when I go to put it on the cradle that I, uh, that I got. And uh, just in case you guys are wondering, I'm going to link all these products on the, in the description just in case if you're wanting them to. So, let's see, what else we got in the box of goodies? So I went and ordered a, a uh, Power Master starter. This is one of those um, small, lightweight uh, starters, high torque starters. This is a uh, 9100. I'll, I'll put the link in the description for you guys. Comes with your bolts that you need, which is nice because I was worried about the bolts. I was wondering if I should go buy some uh I wonder if I should go buy some ARP bolts, but probably not. Look how small the starter is. Small. Tiny. Compared to the uh the original factory starter. Check this out. <laughs> Apparently this is going to be the same. Let's, isn't that crazy? This, oh, that thing is heavy. It hurt my fingers. Ouch. Apparently this is going to have the same amount of oomph to do it. So it looks like it's just a, a one wire starter too. I'll have to look at the instructions just to make sure. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Can't wait to install that. Compared to the the uh, original one, look at this thing. This thing's like, oh, it's huge. It looks worn down too. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if there's a core charge or not, but I'm not gonna worry about it. To be honest. Let's see what else I get here. Oh, okay. So this is one thing I did. I did. I wanted to order. I needed to order. Um, these are Edelbrock. 8564 intake manifold bolts. So I bought these because I'm going to replace the the one the ARPs that I that I bought, and it turns out the ARP ones are uh, too short. They're like 1.25 inches long, and these are 1.5. Uh, those bolts that I bought, they you know. They said there were four big blocks, but I'm not going to, I don't trust only three or four threads clinging into, or like holding on to the block. You know, and this one will have probably a half, uh, more than a half an inch, more, probably a whole inch or something, more, maybe, maybe less than that, but, so I decided to get these, these are Edelbrock, so I trust them. Got those. So, also from uh, Summit, I got the, I think these are platinum AC Delco spark plugs that will, should fit, should fit those. Um, no big deal, nice spark plugs. Uh, I got a thermostat from Summit. Gotta have that. Uh, I got, also got, let's see, these are ARP bolts for the uh, thermostat housing. Uh, I got, a, this is a weight, weight, oh, I, I don't know how to pronounce that, the, the intake manifold, the company, Wayland, Wayand. Sorry if I chopped that name up. This is your uh, these bolts, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna these these comes with the bolts, but I'm gonna actually use the ARP ones for this time. 
I want it at a 90 degree angle. Has your O ring. And it also has the base where the O ring goes. So basically, you'll have your O ring in there. And you can move this around wherever you want your coolant hose to go. So this will have the O ring on it so it won't leak. Which is nice. You gotta have that for the intake manifold. So I figured I'd get that. I'll put this stuff back in the box. Um, oh, also, the top of my intake manifold, here I'll show you with my camera. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys, um, hopefully my stability, I don't have stability control on uh, uh, 4K resolution. But you see all these uh, open ports for on the top of the intake manifold. I know this is the where the, from the water pump. And this one goes right into there. This one goes to the heater core. I'm going to plug this one up. I'm going to plug this one up. And I think this is where I'm going to put my temp temperature, uh, my water temperature sensor right there. But I bought a bunch of plugs for those. There's a bunch of openings for plugs. And I thought I'd buy these. Have these, these are the little threaded plugs that you can just use like an Allen wrench on. Which I need to get bigger Allens for some reason. Alright, so got the plugs. What else we get here? I uh, bought a tube of your Summit dielectric silicone grease. This is your grease for like to put on inside your, your spark plug tubes. You put the dielectric grease in there. I don't know why. I don't know if it prevents some kind of corrosion or something. Just do it. And so, okay, that leaves just one more thing that I got today. There's actually another thing in here that I got from a different company, but uh, I wanted to show you guys that I got carburetor, Elbrock Carb. Uh, I'm pretty happy about this one. Hopefully, hopefully this uh, will do, do uh, pretty good. This is a, 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 five, a 650 CFM. Electronic choke. Um, I learned how to hook up the electronic choke just the other day. Shouldn't be too hard. Um, this is going to be my one of my biggest challenges to get this thing to work right. Hopefully, hopefully, I read some people just all you have to do is just install it and go. So, hopefully, you know, uh, comes with like a, the gasket or something at the top, some kind of wire, and a big old book. Just for your installation guide. Um, pull this out for you guys so you can see it. Hopefully without dropping the damn thing. Oh my look. I'm kind of excited about this. I've never messed with a carburetor before. Never. And you know, this is the reason why I'm doing this, doing this project is to learn. And with all these products, I'm just, you know, from Summit, basically, it's just, it's really uh, making my uh, job a whole lot easier. But, uh, just saying, putting, using E85 fuel will void your warranty. So, you know, you guys can see this okay. It's Edelbrock EBS2, hopefully this is the right one. This is... Basically, kind of excited about this. Hopefully, this is the right one. I do believe this is for the brake, the vacuum for the brake. I had to buy a fitting for that, apparently. But yeah, uh, and the cool thing about buying this, um, one of the main reasons why I bought this one and not another brand, uh, Summit, I believe it was Summit or Edelbrock, was running a special that the day that I bought this to get a free air intake. So I could not resist getting a free air intake. Uh, uh, no, it's free. I know these are only worth like twenty, thirty dollars, but it's free. You know, a nice big black one. 
nice big black one. Uh, but it's, got, it's all in plastic. I'm not gonna tear it all. But you see, it's a Edelbrock, uh, Edelbrock, nickel or grape. You know, kind of excited about that. So. I'm super excited about uh, installing all this, guys. I'm gonna get working on this. I'm probably gonna mess around with it a little bit um, tonight, but definitely this weekend, if I have time, I'm gonna start slapping some stuff on there. I get more stuff in the mail. I'm getting more things coming in the mail than over the next few days. Uh, the flywheel, uh, distributor, uh, a couple other things. I forget. Oh, uh, alternator. I need an alternator. And I'm going to... I'm thinking about reusing my power steering pump. If I, if it will hook up to my... The uh, aluminum mounts that I... Uh, I bought. I'm going to see if I can reuse it. If not, I obviously I'll have to buy a new one. Um, I was hoping to reuse the factory... Uh, pulleys and, and stuff. But... I noticed this, this one isn't going to work. I don't know, this one's not even has a groove in it, so I probably won't even use that at all. I thought about reusing the, uh, the crank pulley here. But, I don't know. You know, just slap a little black on there. And it'll be fine. So, yeah, I just wanted to uh, show you guys, you know, a uh, catalog of parts that I ordered. I'm definitely going to... I'll put all this stuff in just the description below for you. They're all summit links, so if you're interested, um, you know I don't get no money or nothing. I'm not sponsored. I just I really love this company, and they're really you know they give out some really quality parts, really good quality parts, and then that's uh, my main concern is getting like really good parts because you can go on eBay and you know which I have done previously. And buy some real shitty crappy parts, but I'm really happy with the uh, summit. So, uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave some, leave, leave some a bunch of comments in the comment section below. Put me a like, subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.